yes. I am Sevu Prasad, Associate Professor in CAC Department from Guntur Engineering College. In this class, we are going to discuss about software architecture and design pattern, which is for fourth year, first semester, CAC and IT branch students. So come to the syllabus. First unit, envisioning the architecture. Here we need to discuss about the architecture business cycle, what is software architecture, and what are architectural patterns, software models, reference architecture, architectural structures, and views. And we need to discuss about creating and architecture quality attributes, creating and quality attributes, architecture styles, and patterns. Documenting software architecture, reconstruction of the software. And come to the second unit, you need to have and study analyzing structures, architecture evolution, architectural design and decision making like uh, Atom, SIBA, moving from one system to many systems. So like software product lines, building software from off the shelf, off the, off the, comp off the shelf components, off the shelf components in the sense, ready-made tools. Just we can pick up a tool from the shelf and we can use it in the construction software architecture in the future nowadays we are using the blocking structure building blocks so like a cubicle structures you call it as cubicle structures okay next third unit patterns so from third unit onwards you have some idea it is it looks like an extension to the third year subject uml and dp design patterns okay Pattern descriptions, organization catalogs, role in solving designing problem selection usage. So various types of creational pat type patterns like uh, creational patterns, structural patterns, and behavioral patterns, and their subcategories we need to discuss. And in the sixth unit, we need to have a case study regarding the seven E case study in the utilizing the architectural structures and the worldwide web case studies. And come to the textbooks. Already you are having some idea about design patterns and design patterns, a rich gamma. You might have this book and you need to have one more book that is architectural in practice, software architecture in practice. That's all about the syllabus. Next, we move to the subject. Next, we move to the subject. So history, history of the software architecture. It was started around 1968 with Edges, uh, Edz, Edzger Dizkestra who has studied regarding the art, uh, software architecture and David Parnas in the early 1970s, around 1968 to 70, the history of the architecture have been started. But in the other engineering field, the history of the architecture is very ancient. In the same in the same as software and the software domain so architecture has been started from 1965 to 70 approximately no exact years now already you know the keywords what is software software is a collection of components which is designed to do the specified task we have such system type different types of softwares application software and system software application software the software which is designed to do applicant task is called as application software. In the same way, system software. The software which is designed to perform system-oriented tasks like system optimization, making the system functionality in a proper manner like operating system, antivirus, not, uh, software, dead, uh, antivirus software, scanning software, etc. So anyway, so you have a software. So to design that software, we have design techniques as well as architecture, so architecture techniques. Now in this class, we are going to focus what is architecture, what is design. In general parlance, majority of the people feels that both the design and architecture same, but there is a technically difference between design and architecture. Generally, the word architecture is used for large constructions. For example, if you are going to construct a small building, generally we don't call it as architecture, we call it as building design. Whereas some building, large size, giant side structures like Taj Mahal, 
you call it as architecture forts you call it as architecture so here the software architecture deals about the overall components of the system's architecture specifies what you want it does not deal with how we are going to build just architecture specifies what it is what we want what are the facilities you want it don't bother about how we are going to construct it just it specifies what we want next software architecture is like a blueprint of the software software architecture serves like a blueprint of the system you know the blueprint of the system software architecture deals with the interaction between the system and the external components of the system next come to the design design deals with uh, the uh, collection of components within the module and how they are interconnecting with each other so design is small in size so design is a sub element of architecture so you see software engineering software design pattern next design pattern is a general reusable solution to a commonly occurring problems already you know the word patterns so if you are doing this a, a particular job in a same style again and again you call it as pattern so patterns we use this word pattern for example shirt design patterns checks stripes or some flowers or like that so pattern in the sense the regularity in the world it is a regularity in the world in what format we are performing the job so what is the use of design patterns if you are using the same job again and again we can reuse the design so that's why we use the design patterns already you have some idea about design patterns design patterns we are not much focusing in this class design patterns in the next class we are going to discuss but just i am recollecting the design patterns because it is there in the third year design patterns creational patterns structural patterns behavioral patterns all of these sub models classifications of design patterns you have some idea about this okay creational patterns structural patterns behavioral pattern sub components all those things we discuss it in the next coming videos okay come back to the difference between structure sorry design and architecture generally majority of the people thinks that design and architecture both are synonymous but there is a technically difference between design and architecture first you consider software architecture is more about what we want what we want and design focus about how we achieve them what the architecture specifies what we want whereas a design specifies how to achieve them okay next design deals with the entire system design deals with the entire system whole system as a single unit whereas the design deals with the individual module specific module specific module or you can call it as individual module software architecture is focusing on the interaction between the system and external components interaction between the system and external components whereas the design deals with the internal components of the system what are the components available in the system and how they are communicating with each other how they are coordinating with each other okay that is the major difference between architecture and design architecture majorly deals with the interaction between the system and external components whereas a design deals with the components interaction between the components within the within the system within the system okay so architecture is can be considered as high level abstraction of the system design system design deals with the algorithms and the data structures software architecture shows how the different modules of the system communicate with each other and other system okay what are the modules of the system and how they are communicating with each other and all together how the system is able to communicate with the other component other side of the system outside of the system whereas the design just deals within the communication within the module communication within the module okay so every design can be considered sorry every architecture can be considered as design but design may or may not be an architecture so design is a subset of architecture 
okay that's all about the difference between architecture and design the remaining portion will discuss it in the next class